Southfield has long been celebrated as a city that features unique and vibrant architecture. And a recent architectural tour of the city hit that point home even further. The City of Southfield, Southfield Historical Society, Planning Department, and company Docomomo recently hosted the Mid-Century Modern Architecture Tour. And what was the event's goal? Well, it was to spotlight Southfield's historical and architectural jewels. This is our third uh, Southfield uh, Mid-Century Modern Architecture Tour. Uh, I'm extremely pleased with uh, how it went and as well as uh, 80 people came, uh, 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 which was another sellout. This is, uh, we filled the, the first bus and had to get a second. Uh, we were really pleased with that. And um, uh, it was interesting, the people came from all over. Uh, they were not just Southfield residents. Uh, there were people that came from all around Metro Detroit but as far away as Lansing, uh, DeWitt, Michigan, uh, Ann Arbor, uh, and several other, other uh, uh, outlying communities. The Mid-Century Modern Architecture Tour is the brainchild of Southfield City Councilman Kenson Siver. His initial hope was to create awareness regarding the adaptive reuse opportunities for city buildings, but he has since seen the tour grow into one of the city's more successful events that generates a good turnout among residents. Well, we started the tours so that uh, to build awareness. Um, uh, some people look at buildings built uh, in the 1950s, 60s, and uh, you know we're, we're in a throwaway society, so. Um, you know, they, they just, oh, it's out of date. Um, and what I'm saying is, and hopefully, and others are getting on this, uh, coming to realize this, that wait a minute, um, these buildings, uh, although you adapt them to new, new uses or current uses, uh, I'm not saying preserve them as um, down to the, the last screw or nail, but find alternative uh, adaptive reuse for the buildings. They were built and designed for one purpose. Uh, today, things change, find, find a new use, but don't destroy the building, don't throw the building away. We're not um, uh, a uh, art deco district. Uh, we're, we're not a, a colonial uh, a city, but we do have this, um, rather large collection of commercial buildings, office buildings, and homes that were designed during this period of, that um, helped define Southfield and, and make it unique. As with each tour, there were a couple of buildings that caught the attention of both Cyber and city residents. Certainly looking at uh, the Haley Funeral Home, which is a Gunnar Burkert's uh, um, a design uh, that uh, is, is classic Gunnar Burkert's. The uh, uh, towering uh, ceilings, um, the, uh, there's a, a, you get a feeling of serenity when, you're, when you enter that funeral home, which of course is very fitting for um, uh, a building uh, such as that. Uh, Uh, certainly, Cher's Etic, uh, which was designed by Percival uh, Goodman, a renowned architect out of New York, uh, designed the uh, Cher's Etic Synagogue, but also uh, partnered locally uh, with Albert Kahn and Associates. Um, this is a magnificent uh, structure that um, uh, is, you know, obviously uh, a landmark on Northwestern Highway. I was an intern um, working through Lawrence Tech alongside the city planner with City of Southfield and um, I was somewhat familiar with the structures but it was neat to go inside and uh, actually see um, what, these, what these structures look like on the interior. It was exciting, it was great to be with neighbors and folks who were interested in Southfield. The buildings were stunning, the landscape architecture was inspiring, it was a lot of fun. Even though I've lived here for decades, I was just surprised at the range of architecture within the neighborhoods we visited and the history attached to some of the commercial buildings. To learn more about upcoming mid-century modern tours, contact the Southfield Historical Society by calling area code 248-796-4624 or by emailing historicsouthfield at gmail.com.